Hey guys, it's Whitney and welcome back to my channel and here we are. After a long wait for some of you, we are going to do a second episode or a full series of Alan Wake 2. I'm so sorry to you guys who've been waiting around for this. There wasn't like a huge reason that I haven't done the series or didn't do a second episode. I just basically didn't want to keep juggling games. It was also a first look video that I was doing, guys. So <laughs> I did say that in my video at some point, I'm just saying. But here we are and I'm so, I'm excited, but I'm just so scared. But I just thought it would be the best way to be immersed into like one game at a time, if you know what I mean, so I can get really get to grips with the story, the gameplay. I think it would just improve the experience for myself and you guys. You know what? Let's just jump straight in. Let's get into the story again. And I'm sure things will piece together, but I'm very excited to be playing this game. Oh my God. Picking up straight where we left off. We may as well play this scene again. So this was after we defeated Nightingale. Oh my God. <laughs> Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. There we go. And then we ended up here. It's friggin' sick. Danger. Thanks. Got it. And there we go, guys. It's gonna appear at the lake. <laughs> Whose ex hey. is next? If you guys haven't watched X on the Beach, you're not gonna find what I said funny. But I found it funny. Are you okay? <gasps> no, no. Oh God. It's my fault. Got out with my face scratch. Oh yeah, Mr. Scratch. Sir, calm down. His doppelganger. I'm need you to take a breath. He's, he's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been. Wake. Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Came from the late, babe. <laughs> 13. And there we go. That was the end of that chapter. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I <laughs> He's going to meet the... Casey, say Who hello to about? Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. All right. He looks baffled. Alex look at him. Alex Casey, how am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna look around Your the controls a little bit as well. Name is me. Great. Moving on. <laughs> a bit of a hike through the car, wait. <laughs> I just wanted to see if they would say anything more. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Uh, let's just see if we can go. We can't go further that way. All right. Oh my God, it feels so weird and scary to be Batman. Okay, so we're on the shore of Cauldron Lake. Fine, Crowsfoot Hills. Lol. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. Wild Valley Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. The Cult of the Tree, we've got some new pieces to put together. Triangle carving on the table where Nightingale was found. Maybe put this like next to the symbols. Where is the symbols? Here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, some kind of signature. Did they intend for the body to be discovered or just an idle carving? Cult psychology, maybe? There we go. Cult imagery is usually subtle, recognizable only by members. Here, the use of symbols is enthusiastic, eye-catching. They're celebrating their wins, clearly. 
All right, murder at Cauldron Lake. We also have two more clues. <laughs> Where is the hearts? Okay, so we did all of this. Oh my God, that was so freaky getting out of the fridge. Case closed. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Do you know what? I just love how we can go in here and it's like a whole separate level. Yeah, let's investigate here. I want to do every single thing possible in this game. Can I not go up this way? I don't know why I thought <laughs> that was like a yellow stripe like it was on a uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> let's just go down this way, I guess. How do I, can I duck? There we go. All right, I'm being such a nervous, nervous person, but within reason, bro, within reason, this game has got me shook. So times you have to just remember, remind yourself it's just a game. It's just a game. Is that where I just came through? Oh, well, look at this. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh, I'm going to have to remember it. Oh, easy. Notes and ammo. Whoa. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Let me just see what this is. The cult is. doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Oh, God, that's awful. That's a horrible thing to say. Okay, what do we have here? I didn't even see what that was. Oh, I think I know what that is. It's a flare. I was so bad at using these <laughs> in the previous game. I literally would just throw them and we've got propane tank, throwable gas canister, detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage uh, to anything nearby. Sick. At least we found that. Was there anything else around here? Using my torch in the sunlight, as you do. Oh. <laughs> okay. If we get those flashes, like we oh my god what's going on down there bro okay cool and we're getting a lot of um stuff to take i'm sure it's just being kind to us because there's gonna be nothing scary that happens oh the game's saving automatically yeah it's just because it's just because like some really low-key event is about to happen Oh my god, okay. Why would I need to quick turn? I'm just going forward and do nothing. Oh, we're back here, bruh. <gasps> what am I doing? What am I actually walking into? Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> oh, oh. Blood fire. Oh my god, I'm wasting ammo. Why am I doing this? This is surely so turning into monsters. Oh my god. Bruh, bruh, that is not cool. Oh my god. All right. Oh look, there's all the signage. I don't even actually know if I'm going the right way, guys, honestly. This is this is the markings of um Yeah, this reminds me of the markings that Cynthia Weaver put up for us, the Lady of the Lights. Oh. Oh 
Oh my god. Saga burns away the dark substance. Okay. Back at Witch's Ladle, <sighs> Getting Saga a bit. <laughs> carried the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Ooh, creepy, creepy. There was something with the deers as well. I could interact with them as well. Um, like another collectible. And we're stuck. It's pointing below. That's really weird. Is it referring to like sort of an underworld? Or is it just tripping me out? Not again, bruv. I'm wasting so much ammo. Oh, fuck off, honestly. Okay. Oh my god! That's really annoying. Okay, so there was nothing really around that way. All right, guys, I'm going to try to go back to where I came from before I literally use all my ammo on these freaking wolves, man. Seriously, man, that was that was not cool. God, it's so eerie. <laughs> this is such a long run back. Uh, I forgot the dark presence can um, take over animals as well. So this is going to be really messed up in this in this forest, man. God, it's so weird being back at the lake, man, I swear. Is there anything this way that's like hidden? Just don't want to miss anything. So it looks more on this side. What about up here? Ah, oh, wait, wait, look, look, look! Ah, a manuscript. All right. It's a good job. Good job we came back. Good job where we take forever to do stuff. Okay. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed. <laughs> down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Don't like that. Owl. Sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, mm. something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about something they feared the stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response the better the darker the better a ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest mm. two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned bedtime stories folk tales urban legends connected to a specific place these were the sites where the overlaps came to be okay interesting all right art with a sh an alternative narrative god the concept of the dark place is just so bleak man but it's just so intriguing and so cool so i'm gonna try go to the right go here yeah just get my get myself to the parking lot i think i'm just gonna end up running through everything aren't i okay is there anything up here i'm gonna just keep my wits about me I don't want to use any more ammo on those walls. I'm just gonna ignore, ignore. Aha. Back in the bits. Oh my god. Don't forget to save often. Okay, so this gives us a bit of a save. Awesome. And there's some ammo here. We could go towards the murder site again as well. If we don't get absolutely pelted by those wolves. 
like I keep saying. Hopefully they don't go in narrow spaces and they're just more open-ended towards their prey. Oh, to go left or to go right. What was up here again? Don't know. Did we check down here last time? I'm worried I'm going to regret this. I'm worried I'm going to regret this. I think it's better if I just don't build the suspense for myself. Do you know what I mean? Don't edge slowly towards things. You know, you did a boss fight. Okay, hold up, guys. Private cabin. I think we're onto something around here. Oh, fuck, fuck, there's a Taken. There's multiple Taken. this haven't I oh my god oh god oh god oh god oh god I'm just gonna have to run I'm just gonna have to run oh I've absolutely fucked this oh god I don't even know where I'm going oh my god get out get out get out girl there was just no way. There was just no way. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. That's surely, surely that's just not fair. I'm gonna try that way one more time. I think we didn't burn away the darkness properly, so that's why it didn't really work that well. All right, let's just try again. And if not, I'm just gonna move on. So burn away the darkness fully, Whitney. Oh wait, let's, let, let, let. Ha, ha. Pays to do it again. Am I even going down the same bit? I don't even think this is the same way I went. There's another lunchbox. Oh, this is a different way. All right. More manuscript fragments. Okay, I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face smiling at me, reflecting in the water. I looked up not daring to believe it was true, but it was. He was there, my love, my savior, my writer. That sounds like something Alice would write about Alan. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do this shit again. Oh, I have to go up that bit. I don't know if this is dumb, guys. I don't know if this is dumb. Might be a pick your battles thing, you know what I mean? They're not there. Oh, they are, of course they are. Can I just go past? Stream sign, Cauldron Lake. Okay, wait, stream side cauldron lake and this is the stream side stash key. So it can't be used for this, but there must be a stash pretty nearby. All right, I'm just gonna keep going through it and see which finder's station. There's something written here. Ooh. A poem or a riddle. Sun. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Sun, cabin, okay. All right, hold on a second. One bird for, <laughs> this is a lot better than what I was saying, sunbird. Uh, <laughs> one bird for the light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending. Nursery rhymes. A little clothespin doll. Ooh, a crow Perfect doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. 
Lady, you have some interesting ideas of fun as souvenirs. I will tell you that. Some sort of communications device. Now, where is this stash? Yeah, there's a private cabin. Okay, I'm gonna have a look. My only worry is there's a bunch of Taken around there. Oh my God, I'm really creeped out. Hello? <laughs> no, I just can't, I can't. Right. Okay, perfect. That was so much better, Whitney. Well done. Look at me gassing myself up. All right, let's go to the cabin. Just got to be a bit more careful with my shots, I think. Hopefully there's just the two of them. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Ah, there it is, there it is. Brilliant. So we didn't even have to go that far. Oh, fuck, fuck. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Oh, that's not the one I'm looking for. Okay, hold up, hold up. Six and two, maybe it's eight. Six and two is eight and it's on a tree. So rock, rock, tree. And then um, six. Or maybe there's another rock. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Apparently not, three plus three. Is there another rock somewhere that I'm not seeing? Oh good, the music's intensifying. I wish I would stop doing that when I don't see what the issue is. Maybe it's around here. Foreboding music for no reason. Oh, I don't know guys. Plus two, plus three, because they're highlighted by the light. Oh, this is gonna do my head in. Why can't I work it out? Are you bright enough? Oh no, it is referring to the light. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Broken door. Jesus Christ, you're annoying. <sighs> Are you bright enough? Oh, you guys, I honestly just might leave it for now. I, I, I wanna be able to get everything in this game, but this is just bugging me too much. I've just drifted this way, so. I don't know, we're back to uh, where we were before. Oh no, 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 we're not. Okay, okay, we're, we're somewhere new. I'm gonna just leave that puzzle for now, unfortunately. It's not even what I was looking for originally as well. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Am I meant to play something on this? A crow doll. Bro, that was so creepy. Getting freaked out. Bright Falls record, Cauldron Lake closed. Where is Alan Wake? I'm trying to read that, but it won't let me see if there's anything we can pick up in here. Oh. Password. I don't know what the password's gonna be, do I? Oh, it's on there. 2547. All right, oh. Lovely. Project Nursery Rhymes, working title. I received your favourable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not to remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell, lead researcher, PhD. Experimentation update. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. 
They both got they both got the same names. Okay. Here's a promise update on the project's first experimentations. The items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of these test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell. Oh, I just don't know, guys. This is just pretty interesting. I don't know what this is all about, though, to be honest with you. Go upstairs. Oh. I feel bad for these guys. I don't know what her obsession is with the deers. I can't remember if it mentioned it in the first episode. This is going to be fucked, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to ignore the fact we can open that door for a second. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Collect. Okay, some evidence. Objective. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in Cauldron Lake area, utilising fiction as an art source and then manifesting the results into existence. Oh my god, guys. The FBZ's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, hereafter referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass. Sorry, I can't even take a breath. Oh my god. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhymes, texts with a specific function, and and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as, as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself into real life. Okay, a bit like Alan's writing in general. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. That's interesting. They keep doing that, the bloody dark presence, bloody... Take over the arts, make it reality or alternative reality. Don't know why I'm using a northern accent. Okay, so the bathroom is just really open for no reason. There was nothing else here, was there? Oh, this is just weird, man. I, I just any creepy stuff with like kids and stuff. I just hero doll, wolf doll. Oh my god, do you think we can put it down outside? What is this? Okay, collect. Test sites in Cauldron Lake, which find a station two streamside Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Leave these cupboards open. Oh my God, they got cameras. Every I just I just find it weird, like cameras and kids' toys and like just yeah, I don't like it. And there's a horror game as well. I just don't want a baby to go like mama, mama, like nah, bro. Mind boggling. All right, let's have another look around here. So there's another page. Let's have a look. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint, a work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, Gosh. a vortex. Mm -hmm. And the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Gosh, guys, this is, this is real, real, getting real dark. Okay. Some interesting context about the overlap, the dark presence. But I'm ready to get out of here. I think I'm gonna just go, to be honest. I'm gonna go back and check out this nursery rhyme real quick. And then I'm gonna start heading towards bloody car park. I think we need more context about this. I'm not sure. That's just so creepy, man. Okay. Right. Let's start heading towards... Take the car back to Bright Falls. We need to go back. Oh my god, we're so far. We'll go back to the parking lot. Oh, hold on a minute. I missed this out. 
From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty including the mighty orca and wild grey wolves. Okay, so those are the wolves we've just seen earlier, probably taken over by the dark presence. The Pacific Northwest region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the West, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus cover the East. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins, seagulls, squirrels, otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. God. Well, let's just hope they stay lovely, friendly little animals. Birds and bees, then um, then anything else. I didn't actually have a proper look here because I got scared, didn't I? So I don't know where to use this key. What the fuck? Can I shoot this? I don't really want to. Oh, I forgot I could do that as well. Okay. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why am I going this way? I kind of have to, don't I? Fuck. Oh, bro, this is not the time. Okay, oh my god, that was almost fatal by accident. I didn't mean to press the PS button, whoopsie. I got panicked. Okay, we need to get out of here, man, like ASAP. I'm gonna go quickly save at the witch's hut, I think, because I'm paranoid that um I'm paranoid that I'm gonna lose any progress I made. Although I'm not really sure I've made any progress. I think I've just dicked around for time. This music's still ever increasingly intense. So we're back towards the initial investigation spot. I don't know where to cut through. Did we go around up here before? I don't remember if we went this way before. I still have no idea the area it says on our- Anderson, how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh, I did do it! Oh, okay! I was literally about to say I'm not sure if I've, if I've done the optional goal. Oh, okay, I feel a bit better. That's fine. Let's just look in this creepy corner that we've randomly stumbled across. Oh, I do remember this bit. This was when we first got here. I think. I seem to remember being like at a view like this. Stunning. Let's see. We could cut through back to check around the general store, but I don't want to drag things out any longer. What is up that way? I think it won't let us go that way, but I'm going to just try. This is not the right way. <laughs> and that is me to told. To. Okay, all right. So do I love Saga telling me off. Like, personally, I think we're, we were a bit connected through our sweaters and stuff but whatever ah okay okay we're on track we're on track i just couldn't really tell we were going upwards wow it's so pretty man mirror peak okay here we are i would like to visit if there wasn't uh the chance i'd be killed and possessed and trapped in the dark place and all this all these shenanigans this is going towards... All right, we're in pursuit of the bloody car park, finally. Back to Bright Falls we go. Starting forest fires is prohibited. Can I start it if I get attacked by Taken or cultists or others? Monsters? Nope. Okay. Then we can turn your torch off now, Saga. <laughs> we can turn it off because we are back with the gang. Hold 
couple of minutes. Did I check out those rental cabins last time I was here? Uh, I can't get through. Can't open this with my bare hands. We need bolt cutters or something. Yeah. Oh, maybe we could ask those, uh, oh, what were they called again? But they helped those two that initially saw Robert Nightingale sort of break in, I think. I'm, I'm assuming anyway. All right, you guys, here we go. You ready to go? Yeah, kind of. Woohoo! We did it! We actually did some extra stuff. Nice. Mr. Wake. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. God, it reminds me of the start of Alan Wake. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Oh, put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Dad, it's mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Oh. Jesus, David. Remember what Rose Why said about her call? drowning in the lake as well? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. That was very, very strange. All right. Elderwood Palace Lodge. <laughs> oh, they look so good. Gosh, look at the phrase on her, the detail, the phrase on Is her jumper. That's crazy. To to, Mr. Wake. You've been gone a long time. No, no. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale, do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yes, yeah. a scratch. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it. It's maybe it's Mr. Scratch wrote right them. Like a, like a nightmare. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. What's going on? Are he and the janitors? I think that's what it said anyway. Oh? Oh? Whoa. Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. Why is it cheering? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome. Well, we have 
have a great show for you here tonight. In between with Mr. Door. Oh shit, we're gonna play as Alan! Oh, oh, oh fuck! And oh my god! Play oh, night! Oh fuck! Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. Oh, the Anderson I didn't brothers! Need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. <laughs> Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? What the heck? I love how they use the actual actors for the, this mix in with the game. It's just so like, it just makes it feel so old school. I love it. Oh! oh good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come what on. What the Come heck? On, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? <laughs> Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to... Departure! You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean. Really <laughs> you and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay, you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I this is so say, weird. I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> oh, well played, man. That is spot on. No, but maybe it has been here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very Overlap. indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark... Mr. Scratch. ...guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, oh my god, you I guys. Guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously. I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? Oh my god. <laughs> No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career. This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro.
Bruh. Hello? What the heck? Oh my god, we're in New York. Right here. I need kind of. to get home to Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is so cool. Wait, let me just check down there. I always have to check there. I'm not missing out on anything. You can see it's all like kind of blurring. Like dark matter around it and stuff. It's kind of tripping my eyes out a little bit. I love that. I just love little details like that, to be honest. Can't go through there. In between with Mr. Door. In between. That's so interesting. Old gods of Asgard. Me. That name sounded familiar. Yeah. See Anderson Brothers. 665 neighbor of beast. Oh look. Oh my gosh. That mission on the Anderson Brothers farm in the first game was freaking amazing. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? My interpretation of many worlds, Mr. Casper. Darling. What the heck? Zane classic in theaters. Zane. Thomas Zane? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, 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 look, look. Look who it is, guys. Hey, Sam. <laughs> oh gosh, I just love that. Okay, I so think we need I've a key. Locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. All right. I can hear a dog as well. <laughs> Let's keep an eye out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 665 Neighbors of the Beast. Maybe that's the code. That would make sense, right? Yep. What is that noise? Oh my God. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? That was him. Message? Oh, impossible to say. I'm so creeped out. Beyond belief. <laughs> Lemu. Lime lemon. Ah, so fresh. That's fake ass Fanta. <laughs> All this equipment. I'm gonna just go back and look quickly. I just want to check we've not missed any scripts. No, I think we haven't. It's just where we came in, right? Yeah. All right, wow, this is such an amazing set, but I'm getting creeped out, man. I can't get over how good this game looks. I, can, I think I kept saying it. Oh, wait, I didn't look in here. I think I kept saying it. There was something in the studio with me. Oh my God. I had to get out. What the heck, what the heck? Oh my god. It's the presence is coming. Oh my god. 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 up from the nightmare i felt like a drowning man gasping for air oh my god he's back in the cabin this place felt familiar 
a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. Initiation draft one. Oh the my god. For mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Plot board. Oh, similar to um, Saga's mind place, maybe. The writer's room. Okay, waking up to a nightmare. Okay, at the talk show, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. I had to write more. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story is called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape, but I tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? Okay, okay. So, let's see now. Thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room is my boat. Oh my God! Are we gonna? Is my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. It's gonna put us back in the talk show. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. A real treat for all you Alex Casey fans out there. Okay. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And, of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best-selling writer, books, the films are based off. Let's do this! Okay, we need to get out of here. Is Welcome it just going to do the same the thing to me if I go back? So, Alan, oh. as the uh, there was Alex Casey, the Sam Lake. <laughs> so what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> I love Sam Lake so much, he man. He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. <laughs> so, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because... On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Uh-oh. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Oh, shit, you guys. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. <laughs> Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. <laughs> He's I was so trying proud. to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. 
great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. <laughs> Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Okay. And we're back again. This is literally such a mind fuck. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I reckon we just go out the same way each time and then we'll eventually be able to escape the show. That's this way. Was it five? Six six five. Okay, <laughs> I'd forgotten the bars code. Um, I don't think there'll be anything different in these rooms, so we may as well just pass through. I hope so. Anyway, don't want to miss on anything. What? What? Five. Five, six, five. Maybe, maybe, okay. Maybe just do it in the order it's flashing in. Oh, okay. That's really strange. But kind of fun. The story has been rewritten, I guess. Um, it's our fake fanta. locked. How did we get out here last time? Did we go through this way? Yes, we did. Through this door. Okay, we made it through. Hello? Is that? Is that who I think it is? Ah, no raid. No. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. <laughs> they called him Tom. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you basement? want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor? You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. <laughs> so don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy <laughs> this to guy's get funny. Out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of Oh, the world. like he did Water earlier. Finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there. But still a friendly face. 
I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. I thought I recognized him as another character. Because um, that's when I saw that. It's very strange. It looks like a uh, concept art, having that on the door like that. <laughs> okay. So in the shoebox, where I left it, in the basement. And we have to make our own way out. And he talked about the puddle, the water, which is what Alan looked at before we got into this whole sequence when he was talking to Saga and uh, Alex Casey. So I think we're about to piece it all together, but I'm getting pretty lost, I have to say. Do you think it's up this way? Ah, here we go. Map. Talk show studio. Okay. Alice's photographs. Okay, that's locked. A locked door. So do I just take a right? This way. Basement, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be messed up, isn't it? Really not what I, I was expecting from this episode, man. I gotta say. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but... Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's open now. For some reason, when sometimes I press it, it doesn't open properly. Maybe it was just too soon. What the fuck? Okay. Nothing to worry about. That's fine. No charges. What does that mean? Just keep walking around, I guess. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Oh my gosh. The lamp felt significant. Looks like something Doctor Strange would use. <laughs> okay. I felt a magnetic pull between oh, the there lamp we go. and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Oh, that's what that little sign flickering was for. Okay, hold on a minute. Whoa! Whoa! The light jumped into my lamp. The whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. What the heck? Okay. So do we go back to where that other light was, maybe? I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow of the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Whoa. The Harry Garrett show. Oh, shit. I don't know when to do it or not to do it. I think I wasn't meant to do it that time. I think I was meant to keep looking around. This is so cool, but so weird. It's like he can switch between two realities. Okay, this was just back where we were, so I'm gonna just keep following through. I thought I heard something then. Exit? Exit! What is this way? <gasps> oh, fuck. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, 
Whoa. Please wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is oh, a Oh, that's what it is. Not real and yet more real than anything. The lamp the switch was the cut from. The horror real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how Oh my god, it's gonna zoom out. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. Oh my god. I'm the body to find the answer, the map, the key, the compass. That's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's That must be so weird to see yourself like that. It's not an ocean and a lake. That's not a lake. Oh my god, you guys. What a friggin' trip. Oh shit. It's forever. <laughs> Acting like I know the lyrics. Some of you mentioned in the first video you want me to listen to the whole song, so I'm gonna leave this one. I love how the music relates to like themes of that that we've just seen in the chapter. But you don't see me anywhere. I don't see you anywhere. <laughs> I'm right in front of you, I'm right here. On this one ending world. Twisted narrative. What it's not like I'm doing ad libs. Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap. On this one ending world. Will it ever let me go? Fading to black, that's sick. Circling back Just to fall into this trap This Winding road Oh! Yeah, I might leave the whole clip in this time. I just didn't know if you guys would be interested in watching that, but it just feels perfect way to end a, end a chapter. All right, I don't know if the song ended or something weird happened there. I think it just ended. All right, guys, I'm going to play a little bit more of this, but I'm going to call it a day pretty soon because we've played a lot today. Shoebox. Alan can access the stored items from any shoebox in the dark place. We just need to find a bloody way out, don't we? Can we go up here, maybe? The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Right. This night springs. Oh my god. This looks fucking sick. Oh, sorry. I just I wow. I can't get over this. Okay, that's creepy. Pretty deal or no deal coded. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll Caldera call you again Street later. Station. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in it together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been the signal's broken. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? What? All right.
right, Caldera Street Station. Oh my god, you guys. Casey, initiation two. Oh my god. The man I'm... had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there, but I'm so excited to get into the next episode, man. This is freaking sick. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. It feels really good to be back playing this game. I was a bit confused on what to do first, but I think this was a good episode to ease ourselves back in. It wasn't like terribly scary and there was a bit of exploration with Saga and then obviously playing as Alan Wake, who's remembered he's trapped in the dark place and we need to find a way to escape. I'm loving this whole concept with the lamps sort of switching between two, two realities. Like I wonder if that will be a thing as we get head our way to Caldera street station i'm just so excited and plus new york or kind of new york looks freaking amazing i'm super excited to dive into the next episode as we play the episodes more consistently now we'll definitely get really really deep into the story so i am gonna leave it there let me know what you guys think of today's episode what you think of the game have you been playing it yourself and yeah i will see you soon so thank you so much for stopping by